Find the average rate of change of the polar coordinate or the polar equation. Find the average rate of change of the polar equation r of theta equals 2 cos 4 theta plus 1 on this interval pi over 8 to pi over 2. All right, so we know that the average rate of change is going to look like this r of b minus r of a over b minus a. We know this from unit one. That would be my a. That would be my b. So what I need to do is I need to find r of pi over two and then find r of pi over eight. r of pi over two is going to be two cos four times pi over two. Simplify that in a minute. Plus one. 2 cos 4 times pi over 2 is going to be 2 pi. So 2 cos 2 pi plus 1. The cosine of 2 pi is 1. So 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3. So this guy is going to end up being the number 3. No big deal. To find R of A... I'm going to do r of pi over 8. So the same idea, 2 times cosine, 4 times pi over 8, close it, close it, plus 1. That becomes 2 times cosine, 4 over 8 is a half, so a pi times a half is pi over 2, pi over 2 plus 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So that's nice. So this becomes 0 plus 1, which is 1. So now I have r of b, which is 3, minus r of pi over 8, which is 1, over uh, b minus a, which is going to be, that's going to be the gross part, pi over 2 minus pi over 8. So that's going to be the worst part. 3 minus 2, not so bad. Uh, I'll turn u into 4 pi over 8 so I can subtract these two fractions. So 2 over 3 pi over 8. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by 8 over 3 pi. Multiply the top and the bottom by 8 over 3 pi. And at the end of the day, I end up with 16 over 3 pi. That's my guy. Fun stuff.